Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here today with Game 4 of the Kansas City Royals of 1989, taking on the 1983 California Angels. As you recall, the series is 2-1 to one, Kansas City, so if they win this game, it's a best of five. If they win this game, they can advance to the next round. If they lose, there's going to be a game five. Uh, California won the last game by coming back from behind to beat uh, the Royals. And the Royals are without um, Willie Wilson, their star center fielder. He was injured last game, and he'll be out, I believe, for the tournament. So, replacing him is Gary Thurman. On the mound today, for this very important game, for Kansas City will be Charlie Liebrandt. And in 1989, Liebrandt was 5-11 and with a 5-14 earned run average. And he'll be faced by Ken Porsche. And Ken Forsch in 1983 was 11 and 12 with a 406 earned run average for California. So the pitching is not as stellar as it would otherwise be, but uh, both teams are dealing with that same uh, handicap. So we'll see how they uh, navigate that as the game goes on. Uh, Kansas City is the visiting team for right now. So they will be up first, and that means Gary Thurman batting against Ken Forsh. And he gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout. That's one away. Kevin Seitzer is up. He gets a 1-10, which is a double 1-3 to three or a single. And he actually has a single. And that is Kansas City's first hit. They have a man on board. And uh, George Brett up. And George Brett gets a 3-8, which is a walk. So now they have two guys on with only one out. And Bo Jackson's up. He gets a 4-7. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Angels is Bobby Gritch. And I believe he is a 2, and he is... And that's an 11-2 at second base, and that's going to be a double play. So um, Bo bounces into a double play and ends the uh, half inning for the Royals. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And so they get no runs there. And California's up with Jim Eisenreich at the plate. He gets a... Or no, not Jim Eisenreich. Uh, Juan Benitez. He gets a 6-10... And that is a walk. So the Angels have their first man on. If you had to say somebody on the Angels was a speedy guy, it might be Benitez, but he's not a base stealer. So Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 2-2, which is a ground ball shortstop double play. So the Royals turn the double play. Twin killing knocks it down to no man on and... Two outs and Carew at the plate and he gets one seven which is a single so that's the Angels first hit of the day and Freddie Lynn is up and he gets three six which is a single so now the Angels with two outs are trying another rally oh god I put an error all right well Doug say one seven is a home run Doug DeSensei goes deep. And he gives the Angels a three-run lead. So all of a sudden, the Angels are way out in front. Daryl Sconiers is up, and he's got a 5-7, which is a strikeout. And by the way, Daryl Sconiers is replacing the ineffective up until now Reggie Jackson. Probably a good decision, although, you know, Jackson played because he was one of their big signed stars, but 
this is a deciding game and we have to try to get the Angels a win here if we can. Got to do our best for everybody. And right now, that's resulting in the Angels being ahead 3-0. Jim Eisenreich is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a triple 1-12 to or a double. And that's going to be a triple. That's huge. So they got Eisenreich 90 feet away. Daryl or uh, Danny Tartable is up. He gets a 6-8. That is a single one to 15. And it actually is not. It's a line out to second base. One away. McFarland is up. Can he get him home? 1-6 is a pop out to third. They might strand him. That would be big for the Angels. And it would be a big mistake for Kansas City. Frank White up. And he gets a 5-12, and that's a ground ball. Pitcher B, and that is the case. They strand a runner at third. They had a chance to at least get one on the board, and they blew it. And now we go to the bottom of the second. Brian Downing up. He gets a 6-9. That is a walk. Bob Boone is up, no outs, man at first, and that's a 3-5, which is a fly ball center field. B, one down. Tim Foley is up. He gets a 6-10, and that's a walk. So we got some control problems here for Liebrandt. As two men are on with only one out, and they've both gotten there by walks, and Benitez is up at the plate, and he gets a 5-6, and that's a double one to 13. And that's going to be a double and knock in one run. They're not going to get greedy. Let's see. But it is 4 nothing, with runners at second and third and only one out. And Bobby Gritch is back up again. And he gets a 5-5, which is a ground ball C. They didn't have the infield in. They weren't playing for the infield in just yet. So that does knock in another run. And now with two outs and a man 90 feet away, Carew is up. And he gets a 1-7, and that's a single double asterisk and knocks in another run. You guessed it. And so... Right now, it's looking pretty, pretty, really pretty bad for Kansas City. Fred Lynn up. He gets a 5-5. That's a ground ball second base, and he's out. But the Angels have scored three runs in, the first, in each of the first two innings and now have a 6-0 lead going to the top of the third. Kurt Stilwell is up. Forced with a big lead now, and that's a ground ball to first base. He's out. Gary Thurman's up. He gets a 3-4. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Two away. And Kevin Seitzer gets a 5-7. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Foley. He's a 3. That's a 16 and a 3. And that's going to be an out. And you have to ask yourself, did the loss of Willie Wilson really affect the Royals this badly? Because it may have. And now we will go to the bottom of the third. Doug DeSense is up at the plate. He gets a 2-6, which is a walk. So, yeah. So there's a man aboard. And Kansas City is going to start looking for another pitcher because they have issues here. And they can't let this go on too much longer. Terry Leach is up in the Kansas City bullpen. Daryl Sconiers is up, uh, Jackson's replacement. He gets a 4-11, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Royals is um, Stillwell, and he's a 3. And that's a 2. That's going to be big. That's going to be a single 2. So with nobody out and runners are at the corners... And California is just laying it on here. Brian Downing at the plate. He gets a 4-11. That's a ground ball short. He is a 3. That is a 7. 
Seven and three is an out double play. They needed the double play, but a run scores on it. So they do get another run. And Bob Boone up at the plate. And 6-10 is a walk. And that's going to be it for Libre. And he is relieved by Terry Leach, who in 1989 was 5-6 with a 4.15 earned run average. So close the books on Liebrandt. He only goes two and two-thirds, and Tim Foley is up. He gets a 4-6, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is not good, I don't think. Uh, oh, no, yeah, he is. That's Frank White. He's a two. And that's a seven. That's an out. But Kansas City strikes for another run. They've scored in every one of the first three innings. And now we go to the top of the fourth, where the Angels have, or where the Royals have a lot of work to do. George Brett is up. He gets a 210, which is a home run 1 to 19. You got to believe that's going to be out of the park. And it is. And so they get another, Kansas City gets their third hit and their first run. And they are starting the long climb back. Bo Jackson is up. He gets a 5-11. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 3. That's an 11, probably an out. And it is. One away. Eisenreich is up. He gets a 1-9. That's a ground ball. Second base. Two away. And Danny Tartable's up. And he gets a 4-6, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. Or wait a minute, no, it, uh, pop out to first. So that is it for the Royals. They do get a run, but we go to the bottom of the fourth and they're losing 7-1. to Juan Benitez is up. He gets a 2-7, which is a single. They just keep laying the hits in there. Seventh hit for the Angels. Bobby Gritch at the plate. He gets a 2-11, which is a ground ball shortstop double play. That's two down. And Rod Carew up, and he gets a 4-5, and that's a ground ball second base. Leach gets him out of the inning with no runs for the first time this game, and we go to the top of the fifth, where the score is 7-1 California. Mike McFarlane up. He gets a 4-8. That is a double 1-7 to seven or a single. And that's going to be a double from Mike McFarland. And that's going to be the fourth hit for Kansas City. Frank White up. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball shortstop, a one away. Kurt Stillwell up. He gets a 5-7. That is a um, ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a 3. That is a 12 Probably an out, and it is two away. And Gary Thurman up at the plate, 210 is a walk. So Gary Thurman, he does get on base. Not a big hitter, but he does get on base. Two on, two down. Kevin Seitzer up, and a 4 7 is a ground ball to the second baseman, and the second baseman is. A two, that's a 15. That's going to be an error, I think. Yes, it is. One base error on Bobby Gritch. And so you got the bases loaded with two down. George Brett, we need a big hit from him. He gets a 5-4. That's a fly ball to right. And he is actually out. And no run score. So they had a really good chance right there. I mean, they a grand slam would have made it 7-5. to five. I mean, you know, not to put any pressure on him, but Fred Lynn is up. 4-4 four, four is a catcher card X, and the catcher is McFarlane. He is a 3, I believe. He is a 4. Actually, he is a 4. And 1-4 and four at catcher is probably an out, and it is a strikeout, one away. And um, Doug DeSensei up. And in case you're wondering, Terry Leach, he was a starter reliever. So, and he pitched 74 innings. So he's good for a few innings. Doug DeSensei 
One three is a pop out to short, two away, and he is pitching effectively. He has come in and shut down the Angels, and Sconiers is up, and he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to third. The third baseman is a four, and that is a nine. Nine and four at third is an out. So the Angels get no runs in the bottom of the fifth. And we go to the top of the sixth. And Bo Jackson is up at the plate. He gets a 2-7. That is a double one to three or a single. And that's actually a double. So that is the fifth hit for Kansas City. Man at second. Nobody out. Eisenreich up at the plate. 4-7. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Gritch and he's a 2 that is a 19 and a 2 at second is an out one. Moves the runner to third. One out. They obviously are not going to play the infield in because we're in the sixth inning and they have a six run lead. Tartable is up at the plate. 5'11 is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is Brian Downing and he is a 3. And that's a 12 and a 3. And the outfield is. Single and air, batter on second. So, um, California, there's California's air that they were, um, that I had erroneously put up there, but they also got a hit, and that's also led to, um, well, no, it hasn't led to a run. Wait, has it? I think it is. I think it is a run, yeah. And so now Mike McFarlane is up. With still only one out. And that's a 2-9, which is a strikeout. That's a second out. And Frank White is up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball second. Second baseman's a 2. That's Gritch. That's going to be a that's gonna be a hit. That is a single one. Runners at the corners, two down. Still well at the plate. 1-6 is a walk to load him up. So forcing a little bit of trouble here himself, but still has a five-run lead. Thurman is up, and he gets a 1-5, and that's a walk. Thurman is key. He knocks in another run with a walk. So they get another run, and the bases are still loaded, and that wasn't a hit. Seitzer is up at the plate. He gets a 3-8, and that's a fly ball B. And so that ends the inning, but Kansas City does strike for two more. They make it a little closer still. It's 7-3. to three. And Terry Leach still out there pitching very effectively. they got to ride him as long as they can. Brian Downing up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball. One away. Bob Boone gets a 110. That's a pop out to third. There's two way. And Tim Foley gets a 510, which is a fly ball to the center fielder. That is Thurman. He is good defensively as well. He is a two in center. And that is a six, and he's out. So no run score for California. And you have to wonder are they letting this slip away? Is Kansas City coming back? We'll see. George Brett is up. Forsh is still out there. 4-7. That's a ground ball second. He is a 2. That is a 20 and a 2 at second. That's an out. One away. Bo Jackson gets a 1-5. That's going to be a home run. That's long gone. And here come the Kansas City Royals fans. It's 7-4, to four. and Jim Eisenreich up. He gets a 5-8. That's a triple 1-4, to four. or a double, and that's what it is. And it's Kansas City's eighth hit. And now Kansas City's going to look at the bullpen, all, or the Angels are going to look at the bullpen, but they don't have a very good bullpen. Not a lot of good arms out there. They're going to get John Curtis up.
Danny Tartable's up. He gets a 6-7. That is a fly ball to center field, two down. And Mike McFarlane at the plate, he gets a 1-8, and that is a ground ball. So they, the Kansas City Royals are out of the inning, but they did get another run, and we go to the bottom of the seventh. And there will be a new pitcher now also for the Royals. And that's going to be Jeff Montgomery. They're going to try to really nail this down. He's usually the closer, but they want to nail this down right here. Juan Beniquez is up. He gets a 4-7. That's a ground ball second. The second baseman is a 2. That's a 16. That's going to be an error. That is a one-base error on Frank White. So Kansas City uh, making their own error uncharacteristically. Bobby Gritch is up at the plate, 1-8. That is a double 1-3 to three or a single, and Montgomery is being greeted with a barrage. That's going to be a single double asterisk and put runners at the corners with no outs. And now Kansas City does have to play the infield in with Bobby Gritch up. 3-5 is a walk. So Montgomery, a little loss of control there. He's got the bases loaded. Infield is still in, obviously. Carew is up 4-8. That is a fly ball center field B that does score a run for the Angels. Infield is back now. Fred Lynn is up. He gets a 5-3. That's a ground ball back to the pitcher. He is considered to be a 2. That is an 18, and a 2 is an out double play. And the Angels are out of the inning, but not before they scored another run and take a four-run lead. And now Kansas City, or yes, Kansas City has still quite a bit of work to do here. Frank White is up, and he gets a 6-10. That is a single. And that is going to be it for Force. They're going to bring out John Curtis to pitch. Kurt Stillwell's up. He gets a 6-3, which is a strikeout. One away. Gary Thurman's up. He gets a 2-8. That's a strikeout. Two down. So Curtis comes in, throws some gas. <clears throat> Some gas, excuse me, and gets the uh, first two guys quickly. And then a 6-7 is a single 1-12. to 12. And it's actually going to be a line out to the shortstop. And so Kansas City fails to score in the top of the 8. We go to the bottom of the 8. California holding a 4-run lead. And they will bring up Doug DeSensei to face Montgomery. He gets a walk. The Angels have been all over the base pads all game long. Daryl Sconiers gets a 3-5, and that's a single. So Reggie Jackson's replacement gets a hit of his own. Runners are at first and second, no outs. Brian Downing up. He gets a 5-11. That's a catcher card, X. McFarland's a 4. That is a 9. 9 and 4 at catcher is a safe at first on dropped pop-up. And so the bases are full of angels and the infield has to come in. And that brings up Bob Boone. Booney gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a strikeout. So he gets, he gets thrown away by the gas of Jeff Montgomery. And uh, Tim Foley's up. He gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball B. That'll cut off the run, and no run scores. It's two down. Bases are still loaded, and Benitez is up, and he gets a 2-4, which is a single one asterisk. So he does get a uh, run scoring single. And they go ahead... By another run, Bobby Gritch up, and he gets a 1-8. That's a double 1-3. to three. Single double asterisk. So, that's going to be two runs right there on that. And it looks like the Angels have put this one out of reach. Bobby Gritch up. 
and he gets a no. Um, Rod Carew, he gets a one uh, four four, and that is a single, and that knocks in another run. It's just a big hit parade here for the Angels, which brings up Freddie Lynn. And he gets a 3-4, which is a double one to 13. They're not even, they're not relenting. So <laughs> that is another run. Runners are at second and third. Another run comes in for the Angels. Probably putting this one out of reach. I don't see the Kansas City offense getting that many runs. Fred Lynn is, uh, no. Um, Doug DeCinces is up 1-7. That's a home run. Do you believe it? Doug DeCense hits a three-run homer. One, two, three. And it is now 16 to four. Where was this Angels offense in games one and two? That's what they're wonder that's what all their fans are wondering. Daryl Sconiers is up. He gets a 210, which is a ground ball. And that ends the inning, but not before the Angels. Get too many runs. Probably put this one out of reach. George Brett is up. He gets a 4-6. That's a fly ball. One away. Bo Jackson gets a 2-8. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Jim Eisenreich gets a 4-11. That is a ground ball. Back to the pitcher. He is considered to be a 2. That is a 14. And that is an out. And guess what we have, people? We've got a game five coming up between the 89 Kansas City Royals and the 83 California Angels. The series started with uh, Kansas City winning the first two, but the Angels have come back and won the next two. And so we got a game five and be on the lookout for that. But for right now, it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.